Hello everyone. Today we are in the chapter 8 which is switching. In this session we will start and to talk about the switching sections. Okay, so move on. Now switching networks. Switch are used nowadays in our routers. In every home we have internet with the routers and those routers are containing switch. Switches are used to generate the paths. A switch network consists of a series of interlinked nodes are called switches. Switches are devices capable of creating temporary connections between two or more devices linked to the switch. By this diagram we can see that switches are linked with each other. Here this one is a switch, this one, this one and this one. So by this switch the species are connected with each other. This is the basic work of switch. Now switching have three types. Circuit switching, packet switching, message switching. And packet switching have another two types. One is diag diagram approach and another is virtual circuit approach. Circuit switching. In the circuit switching section, the switch first need to generate a path that A wants to communicate with M and first of all in circuit switching it will generate a path that how it will go to the M then it will send the data is known as the circuit switching network. In here we use the FDM and TDM section which is frequency de divider modeling and time diffusion modeling. Advantages of circuit switching and disadvantages are given here. In the circuit switching, it generates the path, so it is obviously reliable. But in disadvantages, if sometimes the path is break or lost, how the data will go? This is the disadvantages of circuit switch. There are three phases of circuit switching. First, we need to connection setup. First of all, we need to set up and connection, then transfer the data and then connection tear down that means first we need to build up a connection then actually send the data then terminate the path these three phases are very important for your question data transmission phases and tear down phases are already discussed here are the difference between circuit switching and packet switching. In circuit switching, it has three phases, but in packet switching, no phases are available. Circuit switching are more reliable, but packet switching are less reliable. Circuit switching is quite faster than the packet switching. In wastage of resources are occurred in the circuit switching because first it will set up a line, then it will send the data. The example of circuit switching can be a telephone line. If you are talking to an, your friend, the line is busy. No one can communicate with you and your friend in the circuit switching technique. But in packet switching, it is like a Facebook messenger system. That means if you are chatting with uh, your one of your friends, another one can easily send you messages. This is known as the packet switching. The packet switching networks, the advantages of packet switching and disadvantages are given here. We can go through them. These advantages and disadvantages are very important for your exam question point of view. Type of packet switching, there are two types. One is diagram network and one is virtual network. Diagram network does not need to set up a connection, but in virtual network you need to set up a connection. Diagram is difficult, but virtual circuit is easy. Diagram is more flexible, but virtual circuit is less flexible. Virtual cir circuit is less reliable, and the diagram is more reliable. Route is established for each packet, but route is established for the entire conversation in the virtual network. The difference between those are very important for your questions have a snap of this one here is the figure of diagram network where the packets can go from different routes 
here we have sent the 1, 2, 3, 4, then it receives the 2, 3, 4, 1, which is not organized, but by the processor, it can easily organize in the datagram network, so user can have the correct input. Routing table is used to generate where to go and how to go. The delays occur in the processing unit or transmission section where you put the data on the line. Here is a delay which is known as propagation delay and when you send the data from one source to another source, this is known as a transmission delay. There are four types of delays which we will discuss in further slides. Here we have port A and port B. Here we have two switches in between them. First of all, we need to transmission time for transmitting the data. Then there is some waiting time for processing delay. And after that, we will send the data again to next switch. And there is a waiting time. And after that, it will send again to the B port. In this virtual circuit section, first of all, we need to communicate with A to B. So we will first decide the path by which we will go from A to B is a mandatory section in virtual circuit network. Here we have two addresses. One is global and another is local. In local, the virtual circuit identifier which is VCI is used. In VCI section, we have data and port sections. Here are three phases. Data transfer, setup and setup request. First of all, we need to build up a setup, then data should be transferred, and then we need to set up the request. Data transmission section. In this section, we have a table of incoming and outgoing. Here we have VCI, which stands for Virtual Circuit Identifier. In this section, we have port 1, and in the port 1, we have VCI port which is 14 and 77. In this output, ports and VCI are the same. By this diagram, we can easily understand and how the VCI works. In this switch, first of all, the sender is sending on the port A and the VCI port is 14. Then the outgoing port is 3, but it doesn't know the VCI section. When it reaches to the switch 2, it can have the port 1 and the VCI address is 66. So that's how it can know the outgoing port is 66. After it transforms the outgoing port 2 to the incoming port 2 and here the VCI address is 22. Then it will know the outgoing address will be here the 22. And after that it will send the data to the port 3 and here it can get the VCI address is 77 that's how it knows the outgoing port VCI address is 77 that's how we can generate this table 66 22 and 77 which is the acknowledgement section of VCI teardown phases are the final level where we need to tear down the function. Now, the delay in the virtual circuit. First of all, we need to set up a connection. Here is a setup delay. Then transmit data from one switch to another, then another to another, and then the final destination. Because we have set up this first, so there is no delay in transmission time. And after that, the tear down signal will take some time which is known as the teardown delay. So the total delay is known as from the setup to the teardown is known as the total delay of delay in VCI that means virtual circuit in um, networks. The difference between circuit switching, packet switching and message switching are very important in exam point of view, circuit switching is first need to develop a circuit and then sends the data and in packet switching, it divides the data into small packets but no root is selected. In message switching, the m 
the whole message is divided into frames and sent into different paths. The example of circuit switching is telephone and modem. The packet switching is for computers and the message switching is for telegraphs. Here are the difference. Have a snap of this and memorize this because this question is very important for your exam point of view. Now structure of circuit switching. In this technology we have space division switching and time division switching. If we divide it by the space is known as the space division switching. Here we consider the space is the major fact by and in the time division switching we here where the time is the major fact. Now the multi stage switching in here we are switching from this section to this section multiply so this is known as multi stage switch. The previous question and given links are given in the description box. That's for today. Thank you.